Brent and Jen, that suspect is a woman from Alabama that the court says was here because of work. And she was arraigned in court today here at Middlesex Superior Court for that shooting incident that happened earlier this week. Police say that it was an incident of domestic violence. Middletown police arrested 44-year-old Melody Christensen of Central Alabama Thursday evening for murder and illegal discharge of a firearm. East Hartford police confirming they assisted with the arrest at the Holiday Inn in their town. Police say the arrest stems from a shooting in Middletown Monday night. When they responded, they found uh, two people have been shot in a specific address inside the residence. Police say Christensen's injuries were non-life-threatening, but the man who was shot died at Middlesex Hospital. Police could not give details on what the relationship was between the two. It stems from a domestic violence uh, incident. It falls under the uh, laws of family violence in the state of Connecticut. The Connecticut Coalition Against Domestic Violence says there's a number of relationships that would fall under that category. Both current and former spouses, regardless of whether you live together. Um, individuals who share a child together, so again, you don't need to live together. Um, current and former dating partners. Um, and then your traditional um, blood or marriage family. Christensen was arraigned in court Friday, where the defense said she had been in Connecticut for work. Arguing for a lower bond, the defense claimed Christensen acted in self-defense. My client has genuine defenses here, uh, uh, being self-defense. Uh, she's very anxious to prove uh, that that is a legitimate defense. The judge kept bond at $1.5 million, saying she had no ties to Connecticut and faces serious charges. She's facing a mandatory minimum 25 years to life. Uh, I believe it's a strong case for the state. Because it is a domestic violence incident, police are not giving details on where the shooting happened or who the victim is. CCADV wants people to know that there are resources for anyone experiencing domestic violence. The Connecticut Coalition Against Domestic Violence has 18 member organizations across the state, as well as Safe Connect, which is our centralized domestic violence resource hub. These, these services are available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We do have that information for you up on our website, fox61.com right now. As for Christensen, she's due back in court next month. Live in Middletown, Gabby Molina, Fox 61 News.